Good evening. I'm Erin Akuz reporting to you at the History News Network studios. For those who have missed it, there has been a recent homicide in the brothel on Thomas Street. Helen Jewett, age 23, was found murdered. We interviewed the owner of the brothel, Ms. Rosina Townsend, and she was more than happy to recount the events of last night and the preceding days before. She explained that the night Miss Jewett had a new customer named Frank Rivers and to not let her in her usual. He was expecting to stay from 9 to 10, but at 11, Helen ordered some champagne. No one saw Frank leave. Later that night, Miss Townsend said she noticed that the back door was open, so she checked all the women's rooms. Lo and behold, Jewess was open. Then she saw her body in her bed on fire. She yelled for help to the watchmen in the streets. They relinquished the fire, but young Jewett was dead even before her burns. Autopsy says she died by the huge gashes above her brow. Investigators put together of how the suspect escaped. He left the murder weapon, a hatchet, on the southwest back fence and his cloak that Rosina said he was wearing to the in the building 15 feet from the fence of another house. Police say it was un it was likely dropped in his fleet to an alley on Duane Street or Chapel. Checking his place of business, they find out his real name was Richard P. Robinson, a clerk who lived in a boarding house only a half mile from the brothel. They're trying to... What was that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting intel now from the police and it looks like though the recklessness of his roommate too we now have mr robinson charged for murder it goes to show that justice will always be served good night and god bless america